Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Alexander decides to show the mirror to the old man in the cloak. Yikes! Zounds, that citizen obviously didn't like what he just saw. Too bad Alexander didn't get to see what was reflected in that mirror. Alexander. Rotten Tomato wouldn't appreciate being traded into a pawn shop. Alexander doesn't even like to eat plain tomatoes, much less that rotten one. if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very good, Prince Alex. It is always a pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy the mechanical nightingale and feel free to bring it back anytime. Thank you.
my Cerebus collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Bay, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Kasima crying all day long and be ordered to ignore it yet? Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The wazir says that the princess is not herself, says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it, the poor might, but still. I agree, it seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. I, well, it's too bad we couldn't... <laughs> If I had it, not only would it cheer up. Oh, well, our luck will definitely be. Sorry, Wolf. I'll keep my mu Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale.
there's someone in there? Who... who's there? Kasima, is that you? It's Alexander. Alexander? Prince Alexander? Or... I don't believe you. It is Alexander, Kasima. I sailed here to see you, and the ship sank in... Kasima, just tell me what to do. How can I help you? Do you want me to get you out of there? If you really are, Alexander, please, please, you must get away from here. There are guards everywhere, and the Wazir would have you killed if he found you here. But what about you? I can't just leave you locked up like this. The only way out for me is to stop the Wazir. See what you can do out there. In the meantime, I should be safe enough. He hasn't harmed me yet. Besides, if I can get my hands on something with which to defend myself, I'm pretty sure I'll get a chance to use it. The Wazir feels safe around me. No one else can get that close. You're so brave, Princess. But it's too dangerous. Have you forgotten where we met? What is Abdul compared to Mordak? I'll be fine. Now go! Alexander hesitates. I'll do as you say. I will find some way to help you, Kasima. I swear it. I believe you, Alexander. Please, be careful. Kasima, take this small dagger. It's not much, but perhaps it will prove useful to you. Oh, thank you, Alexander. I'm sure it will help. I found this letter in the wazir's bedroom. I... I think you should know what it says. <gasps> I can't believe it! Oh, I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything! Alexander, you must take the letter. You might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop the wazir. On the north wall of the hallway is a thick wooden door. The doorknob and keyhole are literally buried under a heavy padlock. It looks like someone wants to make sure the occupant of this room does not leave. Kasima, is there anything else I can do for you before I go? I don't think so, Alexander. You'd better go before the guards see you, or we'll both be lost. <laughs> 